The new YCM B8SY lathe is in-house and today we're gonna to be using it to debate right-handed tool or left-handed tools. Which one is better to turn? Pros, cons, advantages, disadvantages. We're gonna go over it all and we'll let you know what we think you should use in your shop. All right, so speaking of this new machine, she is a dual spindle machine. We have an eight inch chuck, 5,000 RPM, about 40 horsepower. Over here we have our sub or our second spindle, a little bit smaller at six inch, but up to 6,000 RPM. So we got BMT 55 tooling, definitely prefer the BMT tooling. And remember, if you want more info on this machine or really on any of the products and services we offer, make sure to check out the link in the description. So as much as I like talking about machines, I like making chips a lot more. So let's get to it. So if you've ran a CNC lathe before, I almost guarantee you that you have ran right-handed tooling. But what you might not be aware of is left-handed tooling. You don't see it near as often. This is definitely more common. Now you may be asking, how do you tell the two tools apart? If you have a tool, you have insert facing up and it's pointed towards your stomach and you look at where that insert sits. If it's on the right-hand side of the tool, it's a right-handed tool. If it's on the left-hand side of the tool, it's a left-handed tool. That's right and left-handed tooling. So that's gonna be the best way to really tell your right from your left-handed tool. Now, there is some information out there that used to say your right-handed tool would cut from the right to the left and your left-handed tool would cut from the left to the right. But that's kind of an old school method of thing with today's modern CNC lathes. We got two turrets, we got two spindles. So sometimes that tool may be like say upper turret, lower turret, less spindle, right spindle. So that doesn't apply. So for our cutting test today, this is gonna be simple. We're not making a complicated part. We're just gonna rough some material off. To do that, we are gonna use a CMG 432. This is really your classic rougher. It's strong, it's robust. We are using a Kenamental KCP 25. So this is built for steel and it's a little bit rougher insert. Hopefully that holds up because we are going to be running dry. So beyond being able to identify a right-handed tool versus a left-handed tool, the main question, of course, is why would I want to use one versus the other? And for me, this really comes down to three different points. We have chip control, we have tool maintenance, and we have machine tool load. Now, I can tell you about them now, but I think the best thing to do, we're going to pop these tools in the machine, we're going to get some material in there, we'll make some chips, and I'll tell you about it all along the way. Let's get to it. All right, so as we discussed, here is our right-handed tool, and it's gonna go insert facing down. We'll try to make sure both tools stick out the same amount. All right, so we got our right-handed mounted here. We'll go ahead and move a couple stations up, and we'll do our left-handed up here to give us nice visibility. All right, so our first tool up is our right-handed tool. That is, again, insert down, and we'll be using an M03 counterclockwise motion of our spindle. So out of our three things, we really are gonna be looking at two different factors during this cut. One is the chip control. We're gonna pay attention to where those chips flow during that cut. And we'll also pay close attention to our tool load and see what that looks like with this force kind of pushing up into the insert. So as you can see, we do got a nice, clean, small little chip on this cut. If you look at our camera angle, you can see those chips are really being directed downwards because of that right-handed tool and insert position. Now we'll have to wait till we're using our left-handed cutter to compare the difference, but we're really focusing on that Y-axis right now to see a difference in tool pressure that implies an upward or a downward force. Now we're gonna talk about that tool maintenance. And as you can see, I cut here, but I have to rotate my station up here to get in and be able to change this insert. Now, while this isn't impossible to do, it isn't necessarily convenient either. All right, now we have our left-handed tool. Not much has changed, except for the fact that our insert is now facing up. And instead of an M03, we have to use an M04, which turns our spindle in a clockwise direction. Same exact cut, same exact part. Now one thing I want to mention again is that chip control. You can see before where we had our right-handed tool, the chips were really kind of shooting down. Now they're kind of shooting up. You may not think it matters too much which way the chips go, but a lot of people actually don't like this feature when I talk about the chip control differences. The chips will tend to beat up your window sometimes and can scuff it up quicker than if you were using a right-handed tool. Now you can see our load meter up here. See if we get any difference. All in all though, this is a really nice material to cut and they both actually performed really well. 
All right, so we saw chip control, we saw machine tool load. The last thing we're gonna talk about is tool maintenance. And honestly, in my opinion, this is where the left-handed tool really performs better than your right hand tool all I have to do is open this door and my insert is right here I don't have to index my turret I don't have to hold the insert in upside down I don't have to re-index the turret back basically I just open my inserts right here I flip it shut the door and I'm off to machining again just a quick note we are using an upper turret if you're using a lower turret this will actually be reversed your right-handed tool would be insert up and your left-handed tool would be insert down we have two parts. Can you tell which one was a right-handed and a left-handed? You can't, and that is something to take into consideration. So why would we use the right-handed versus the left-handed again? We'll just recap real quick. The first is chip control. As you can see with that right-handed tool, those chips shot right down towards the conveyor. Most people kind of prefer that because the left-handed tool, it shoots those chips up and it really can beat up that window over time. The second point we had talked about was tooling maintenance, which really comes down to insert changes. And for me, unequivocally, the left-handed tool is the superior choice there. You don't have to index that turret. It's super easy to get in there, change your insert, and go with the next part. Now the last thing we discussed was the machine tool load and you can see that the forces were indeed stronger with our left-handed tool than they were with our right-handed tool in the y-axis but more load isn't always a bad thing in fact that higher load tells me that that machine is absorbing some of that pressure and gives us a more stable cutting process now a couple factors to consider maybe you're doing real small parts you're doing real light cuts in all honesty what we showed you here probably doesn't make too much of a difference but if you have big heavy parts in there you're taking big cuts on ink and or heavy materials that are really hard to machine you may want to consider that left-handed tooling now one thing we didn't mention also with respect to that tooling position is if you have a crash now nobody wants to crash their machine but sometimes it does happen if you have your right-handed tool in there and something happens with that part and it yanks up it does want to yank that turret up in a way which can cause a lot more damage whereas if you had your left-handed tool because all those forces are going directly down into the bed you definitely at least reduce your chances of causing any significant damage and actually now that I'm thinking about it there is really one other takeaway then this can be important depending on who's programming your machine you have to remember M03 is what we use to program most of our lathe tools. If we put a left-handed tool in there, we now have to introduce an M04. So you may be going back and forth between an M03 here and an M04 here. You really have to watch that. Sometimes that doesn't always get programmed in depending how you do your programming. And if you ever try to use an M03 with your left-handed tool or vice versa, that will be a turning experience that you probably won't forget anytime soon. So really, when you sum it all up, it really does come down to preference. Right-handed tool is gonna to be good for some shops based upon who's doing the programming, who's running the machine, types of parts, etc. Left-handed tooling may be good for other shops based upon their own specific criteria. But one thing's for sure, definitely hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you guys next time.